Hello, I'm Richard Campbell. I am the Technical Director for Hydrosense, and today I'll be giving an instructional video on how to use the Industrial Field Test Kit. Now, the Industrial Field Test Kit has a number of uses. It can be used for sampling from a shower or from uh, pipe fittings, and it's also suitable for cooling towers and hot and cold water systems where you have access to a pipe fitting. The kit comes with enough components to perform five tests, and in this case, I'll be showing you how to perform one test. The test kit comes with an adapter, which has a three quarter inch and half inch threaded adapters. So if you want to sample from a shower head, like we have here, if you detach the shower head, that should just unscrew. And then in this case, that's a half inch fitting. So we can use the half inch adapter. If however you needed the three quarter inch, that just screws on like so. Then we can attach the adapter to the shower head and then we would attach the filter, which I'll show you later on. But first I'll show you how to attach to the pipe fitting. So in this case, again, we have a half inch fitting and we just screw directly into the pipe fitting, the adapter ready to attach the filter. So prior to doing that, we just need to check that the top cap is tight. Then attach the filter by pushing it in and then tightening the ring here to secure it. Then we take the measuring bottle that comes with the kit. Um, it has graduations up to 250 mils and we will be collecting a 250 mil sample. So we take the cap off and then we can open the valve and start measuring the water that's passed through the filter. And we keep going until we get to 250 millilitres. And then once it reaches the top, we can close the valve. And what we've done here is we've passed this 250 millilitres through the filter and any Legionella bacteria that were present in the, the sample have now been collected into the filter. So this water here can be disposed of, it's no longer required, but the bottle can be reused for the other tests that are within the test kit. So next we detach the filter by holding the ring and twisting to detach the filter. We hold it in an upright position. We then remove the cap from the top and place it on the bottom. And then we take our recovery buffer syringe, remove the red cap and attach it onto the top of the filter. At this point, we can then invert the filter and then start to recover the bacteria from the filter. The first step for this is to pull the syringe back to the 0.5 milliliter mark and then to push the syringe fully in. Some water may come out of this port here, that's perfectly normal. And we can pull the syringe back to the 0.5 and push it in. And what we're doing here is washing the filter and extracting the bacteria. We do this step three times. And then on the last step, pull the syringe all the way back to the 0.5 and then push it in to get to your 0.1 milliliter. If you keep your syringe in an upright position, it also helps to prevent air bubbles going into the syringe. So we've now collected our sample into the syringe. We have 0.1 milliliters in the syringe, we now need to open the test. And we only open the test just prior to running. Place the test on a flat surface. And then we detach the filter from the syringe, and put the filter to one side. And then we dispense the 0.1 millilitres onto the test strip. Ensure that all the sample is dispensed onto the test strip. 
At this point, we would start the timer for 25 minutes and we would then let the test run and read the test at 25 minutes. The test can be read in the window of between 25 minutes and 30 minutes and it should not be read before 25 minutes or after 30 minutes. The test is composed of two lines, a test line and a control line. If both lines are present, then Legionella pneumophilus serogroup 1 has been detected above the cutoff of the test kit. The positive signal at the test line may well be weak, but any line at this position indicates a positive. If no test line is present at the test line position, but there is a control line, then the test is negative and Legionella pneumophilus serogroup 1 has not been detected. If no control line is present, then the test is invalid and it should be repeated. To use the app, launch the app, select a pre-programmed location and click read test. Scan the barcode and then read the test by matching up the image on the screen with the cassette. The positive result indicates that Legionella pneumophilus serogroup 1 has been detected in the sample. Results can be shared via email or SMS. Our results are also automatically uploaded to the HydroSense Pro portal at hydrosensepro.com.